If you have uh, your snack bag with you, you probably have some popcorn in it for tonight. One of the things that the uh, boys and girls in L Rolanda uh, would do is eat popcorn. So we're gonna invite you to get your bag out and eat and munch along as we talk a little bit about some of the other things they would have for breakfast. Here are two fruits that you would see in Ro 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 Rwanda, Africa, an avocado and a mango. We're going to make some avocado toast and mango cubes. Rwanda grows a lot, uh, grows many tropical fruits, pineapple, bananas, papaya, passion fruit. We can't grow any of those here, believe it or not, it's too, we're too cold. Uh, mango is my favorite, so that's the one I chose to do tonight. Red beans and rice are often eaten along with, uh, along with fruit. They eat very little meat, so having an egg to eat every day is important for, for protein. I have an egg over here that's frying away that looks like it's just about finished. So I'm going to show you how to make avocado toast. I've already toasted my piece of bread, my toast in the toaster. And what I'm going to do is cut my avocado in half. Okay, avocados have a large seed. We're going to take the seed out. Then the easiest way is to just simply score, which means to just gently cut the avocado first one way, then the next way. And then actually just take it out uh, with a, uh, scrape it out with a spoon. So all you have left really is just, just the shell. Then I'm going to mash it up. Now, some people uh, like things without very much uh, spice. So if you're one of those people, you're probably just going to use your avocado the way it is. But uh, in our house, we tend to eat things that are a little spicier. So what I'm going to do with the avocado is I'm going to add some salt and pepper. But then I'm going to squeeze in a little lime juice and what goes really well with lime juice is cilantro. So I'm going to actually sprinkle in a little cilantro. Okay, so then you just, we're simply going to take our avocado and we're going to use it in place of butter on our toast. So, usually one avocado will make about, uh, will serve about four people or four pe work on four pieces of toast. Okay, so I've got it on my, on my toast. And then what I have over here is uh, a fried egg, which I'm going to put right in the middle. So you could scramble an egg, you could uh, hard boil an egg, you could poach an egg, but you're going to put it right in the middle. And for some reason, eggs and avocados are a really good, um, a really good uh, com combination. So some people might add a little paprika, which is a, a, a really um, mild pepper, or you might, uh, other people might put a little few par uh, pepper flakes. Okay, and there's our avocado toast uh, with an egg. Okay, now let's look at the, av at the mango. Mangoes are, uh, grow on pretty big trees. You can see this is a very big fruit. Some of the trees look like, uh, are almost as big as our pecan trees. When I was uh, visiting in, in uh, Honduras, Central America, boys would climb up in these big trees, look for a ripe avocado, and throw it down to us below to eat. This is how you can tell if a mango is ripe. First of all, you want to look at the color. The color should be red, uh, orange or red and yellow, not, not too green. 
Then squeeze it real gently and see if it's a little soft. Smell it, and it should smell a little like a mango. Then look at the stem. This is where it was attached to the tree, and this is where it's going to start getting ripe or turning yellow to get ripe. This is kind of orange, so it may not be quite ripe, but we're going to cut it and uh, we'll cut it and, uh, and see. So we're going to cut so that uh, instead of peeling it, I'm going to cut off a part from the bottom, and I've already run into I've already run into the uh, the big seed that's in the middle. The white part is the seed, and it has a really big seed. So you can see when you look at the mango, though, it's got a couple of big cheeks or sides. And we're going to cut so that we get cut these sides. Okay, so here's one side. And then we're going to cut the other side. So both of these are on, the, on each side of that big seed in the middle. I would go back afterwards and take all the... Uh, all the fruit off from around the seed because I really like avocados. But look at the beautiful color it is inside. So instead of peeling it, I'm going to score it, which means I'm going to cut some lines, make some cuts all the way through the uh, fruit, but not, not cutting the, uh, the outside peeling. Then go back the, the second way. And you can tell this one is going to have a lot of juice. So when you get it cut all the way around, then if you flip it, you can see all of our uh, cubes are right there. And then I'm going to just go through quickly and cut off the cubes so that they... So this is definitely a lot easier than trying to peel an avocado. And you can see how juicy and uh, good an avocado will taste. Mango, sorry. Okay, so we're we would do that with the, uh, with the other ones too. But for breakfast then, you would serve your toast with some of these, this nice juicy mango. Okay, and there you are. Very nice breakfast to make for your mom. Avocado toast and cubed mango. Hope you get to try this at home. It really is good. And we'll see you next week with another, uh, another uh, country to study.